we will just give a few seconds for people to get on and for the stream to fully start so I can see you guys' comments and see who's here. Hope everybody is having a wonderful night. I'm excited for some glass etching tonight. Another new thing. All sorts of new things. I've got so many ideas. So fun. I love sharing all this stuff. Okay, here we are. We are live. Hi, Trevor. Hi, Cindy. Hello, hello. Thanks for joining me for my glass etching demo um, and learning because this will be the first time that I've done it. But, you know, there's so many great videos out there and everything to show you how to use the products, all the different things that you can do. Um, with your chocolate tour stencils, um, the, um, we are doing the love that we did the other night on the slate. Um, and I went ahead and I put a coating over that one. That way it will stay on there because I really like how it came out. Hi, Cindy. So, um, I was going to show you really quick. So the one from the other night, camera. Even though I used the, um, I did an overlay with the bark, which kind of looks like zebra in the silver. It's really pretty. Anyways, um, okay, let's go ahead and get started. So like I said before, um, all of the transfers, the silk screens, you can use 8 to 12 times, um, depending on how you care for them. And... The nice thing about them is you can go on all different types of surfaces. Um, I put this on the slate. I could, could have put it on my pillow that we did the other night, the canvas. I could put it on the chalkboard. I could use chalk. I could use ink. Um, and like you'll see tonight, we can also use etching cream. And this is the etching cream that we're using, Armor Etch. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So first, and I have used this one, so we will fuzz it, but we don't have to fuzz it a lot. If this was brand new um, and we were putting it on glass, we would want to fuzz it really, really good um, because we don't want it sticking on there and ruining our transfer. So this is just a glass, cute little glass water bottle that we have that you can fill up. Um, hello. Hi, Mother. Everybody say hello to my mom. Okay, so we're gonna put this, let's see. Should we do a little bit of an angle? Let's put it right there. And then we're just gonna smooth it really good all the way around here to make sure none of that cream gets under the transfer. A little bit of something, a little bit of fuzz from my towel. There we go. Hi, Trevor. How's the weather out in Florida? Thank you for sharing, Cindy. So, if you're here and um, you haven't liked my page already, I would appreciate it if you like my page. Um, that way, you don't miss any cool videos. And it helps me out a lot. And it would also help if you'd share this video. I would really appreciate that. Um, so I can share my products with and my ideas with a lot more people. Yes, I can't wait to do this. Um, it's a little nervous to do new things um, live. But hey, we can all learn together. And you know what? I am confident in it because this is such an easy product to use. And I'm just gonna... Okay, so we've got our transfer on there. Now we're gonna shake up our cream. It's beautiful in Florida. Have you got any jet skiing in lately? Sorry if that's loud. Oh. First, before we open it, we are going to put on our gloves. 
And I'm wearing my glasses tonight, um, just in case to make sure nothing gets in my eyes. In a well-ventilated area. Um, the fumes are kind of like uh, when you dye your hair. So it is a little bit strong. You don't want to be in a closed area. You don't want to get it in your face. Read all of the instructions and warnings and stuff on the label. And this um, etching cream, I just picked up at, um, where's the camera there? I just picked it up at Hobby Lobby. Oh, my mom. Okay, so my daughter. Okay, first of all, hold on a second. We're just going to dip, and I just have a paintbrush. We're going to dip it and start generously watching it on here. So, yes, it is great to be able to use this on many surfaces. And sometimes I don't know, like the slate, I hadn't seen someone else use it. I just saw it, thought it was cool, and decided to try it, and it worked great. So my daughter is in the Navy and lives out there in Florida, so my mom gets to see her all the time. And since I'm in Arizona, I'm totally jealous, but I'm glad they get to spend time together. So I'm just going to apply this where the silk screen is. And the silk screen's like a mesh, it's like a material. Um, it's very durable. You just rinse it with water after you're done with each um, project. And then you store it back on the back of the sheet. And on the back of the sheet, I just wrote um, what it was. So I made sure I knew where to put it back in case I was using multiple transfers. Thank you. <clears throat> yeah, I have all sorts of ideas. Not enough time though, right? Okay. I'm going to get all of this really good. And then from what I've seen, most people do it um, between, a lot of people do it five minutes, some people eight. Um, we're going to go ahead and go somewhere around five. Five or six minutes. We'll let this sit and I'll show you the pillow project. No, the etching cream will not ruin the transfer. Um, it'll burn your hands because it's an acid, I believe. So you do not want to get this on your hands, which is why I'm wearing gloves and glasses, just in case I get any splatter. It just gets on the glass. And also, if you're working real to the edge of a transfer, if you're only using part of it, you can go ahead and actually um, put some painter's tape or crafting the paper crafting tape. I forget the name of it. Um, but you can put that right over where you don't want it because any place that this stuff gets on the glass, it will etch it. So you don't want the etching places you aren't intending for it to go. Welcome, Tracy. How are you tonight? Hope everybody had a fabulous weekend. We had a wonderful Sunday doing stuff around the house and going to church and all that fun stuff. And then next week, get to go to Florida, maybe some jet skiing. That will be fun. This should say love mom. So I need a, I need a mom transfer. I actually have a few more transfers on the way. It's so hard. I just keep yeah, <laughs> there's so many of them. There's so many cool ones. If you guys are interested in which transfers are out there, my website information is on there. And you can look at all the different transfers. You can also Google the different designs. I mean, there's so much stuff out there, which is really great. Um, everybody shares their ideas and everything. And I am just making sure that it's everywhere on here. Really quick, just going back over it. Do a little bit more right here.
Okay. Set that there. Look at the time. Actually, let me get let me get these as stoppers. Yes, and just imagine all the things we can etch. I know, just all the ideas are going. We've already talked about and looked at different things, and I'm just making sure there's none of it on the gloves. Okay, so the other night, um, while, the, while we're letting this set, I'm going to show you um, another project. So let's switch to this one. Oops, sorry about that. Let's go. I'll get this. There we go. Okay, so the other night we um, did the pillow with the snuggle transfer, this one right here, and then we did the canvas with the same transfer. I have several more uses out of that can transfer, and I'm just trying to think of what I'm going to do next with it, but um, the other night we ran out of time, and I was not able to um, press the pillow while I was here, but I went ahead and pressed the pillow this morning, and I had some old parchment paper I used to put on top of it. Long story short, um, the parchment paper had something on it, got a little bit of a stain on the pillow, so I improvised and we got some gray dye and we dyed it. So this is the pillow from the other night. You can't see any of the marks on it anymore. It's great. I did have to hand wash it so it didn't shrink and then air dry it and I repressed it and can still see the gold hug me. Let's see if I can get it to come in good. There's the gold hug me. There's still the snuggle, all the dots. Anyways, I think it turned out lovely still. So, no matter what you do, um, there's almost always a way to fix it and make it look beautiful still. So, anyways, but lesson learned. Always check your parchment paper. Make sure there's nothing that's going to mess it up. Um, Hopefully you don't learn the hard way like me, but hey, I really like the gray, and I actually like the gray a lot more, and um, I think I'll be using that color a lot on my pillows. Maybe I'll just dye several pillows before I um, design them and use the paint on them, or the ink. Not paint, it's ink. Thank you, Cindy. Yeah, it was a, lesson, a, a learning lesson, but... I used the RIT dye, um, R-I-T, where is that, hold on one second, Trevor, do you want to look, oh here it is, so, I just used, picked up this, went down to Walmart, picked up that in the pearl gray, and I did it for about a half hour, I just took some tongs and a stainless steel pot and swooshed it around. Yes, and this is the Chalk Couture pillow. They are dyeable, which I will be experimenting with that a lot, different um, colored pillows and everything, because I think that turned out fabulous, and it was super easy. Um, but I was like, oh no, when I saw it, and I was like, okay, what can I do to fix it? So if you ever have any projects that something happens, just reach out to people, to either me or one of the designers, and say, hey, you know, do you have any ideas on how I can fix this? I've seen in the community all sorts of different projects gone not exactly how people have wanted, but you know what? There's always lots of people with lots of ideas and everything, and it's amazing. You're welcome, Tracy. So, um, yes, I will definitely check that out more and stay tuned for more inking projects and pillows and if you have anything, if you see anything on the sites or any designs that you want to see made, um, I'll look into it. Let me know what you want to see made and I'll do it live and I'll make sure I let you know and tag you and let you know that I'm going to do it. Um, yes, Cindy, that's true. Everything happens for a reason. And, you know, I really love the dark gray and it'll look great on my couch. So, um... If anybody's not already on my VIP page and would like to be on it, go ahead and comment VIP. And what that'll do is on my VIP page is where I can offer specials and discounts and um, just a little extra fun. So let me know if you'd like that. And then also if you want more information or have any questions about the products, just drop them below, send me a message or whatever, and I will get back with you and help you out on that. Um, 
about to see what we have time. We have one more minute. So in one more minute, we'll start scraping that off, putting it back into the bottle, kind of like we do with our chalks and our inks to save it for later. No what, mother? I'm not sure what you mean by that. It takes a little bit, it's a little bit of a delay for me to see things. Yes, I can't see, I'm not sure. Cindy, do you know when we find out what the transfer is or is it a surprise when we get it in the mail? I don't know if we get a little insight and can share in our VIP group or not. I was asking your mom if the new jet ski flips over as easy. Oh. She said no. So, mom, you rode the jet ski for your first time today. So, funny story, we were out in Florida the last time. Me and my husband were on the jet ski. I rode around. We were fine. And he's deathly afraid of water. We rode around with him. We weren't even going that fast. And before I knew it, we were in the water swimming. So everybody's like, where'd they go? Where'd Trevor and Amy go? Because there's the jet ski swirling around when the key pulled out, but we were in the water, in the river. <laughs> uh, so funny, because he's so afraid of the water. And yeah, he dumped us in there. Okay. It's been five minutes, so I'm going to put my gloves back on. This is kind of a quick project. Most of it's just waiting for the time to be up. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to scrape that off of there and I'm going to go about in the order that I put it on just that way everything has an even amount of time. Okay. So that's cool. I'm excited to see what comes out next month. I love all the designs, but new stuff that you haven't seen before, that's always great. Yeah, I'm getting another order of some transfers tomorrow. I'm excited about that. Also, when I'm down in Florida, I'm going to be making some stuff with my mom and hopefully my daughter. So, mom, if you're listening, um, if you go in there and look and see if there's something particular you want to make for your house. Um, if I have it, I'll bring it. If I don't, I'll see if I can get it. So, when we're done here, just go on the website, look at all the different transfers. We can put it on your window, we can put it on the glass in the oven, on a canvas, on a wall, on a jar, on a pretty much any flat surface or material. I have a couple ideas of things I want to bring. I'm going to chalk it up at your house. Okay, so we've got all that. I'm going to wipe off as much as I can here. Yes, so there's a monthly special. There's a club. It's $19.95, um, a three-month minimum, or $19.99, sorry, three-month minimum. And then every month what you get is a kit that has an 8x10. It's a B-size transfer, which I believe is an 8x10. Help me out, Cindy. Um, and it's a new transfer that's available to the people that are in the club. And you get the transfer and some sample chalk paste. Um, to be able to do a project um, and it's a surprise every month so I'm super excited about that um, and if you join my VIP page I just might have a special if you sign up but yes mom you're gonna get hooked I mean I fell in love before I even tried doing this all I did was watch the videos and stuff and I was kind of hooked um, believe it or not I've been doing this since last Wednesday and I've already created so many things I have so many ideas and just more of what am I gonna make today? So I'm gonna take this over to the sink. I'm just gonna rinse it off and then I'm going to um, rinse off my transfer real quick and come back and show it to you. Um, maybe Trevor will come entertain you with Zola. So I will be right back. Say hi. Say hi. Hola. Hi. Ask a question. Ask a question. Or tell them what, what, what transfer you're most excited about. Uh, let's see here. The 
transfer most excited about right now is probably the um, the cat. The cat? The, the geocat? Ge the geocat? Yeah. Curious to, intrigued to see how that's going to come together. So, say hi. Almost done. All right. She's almost done. Next I need a portable camera. Like an iPad? Yeah, too bad we don't have an iPad. Alright, back on the way. Okay, so I'm back. So let's see if you can see that. Uh, get this the right way. hard to let's see if I hold it up against here it's kind of hard to see but it looks fabulous so um, okay I'm trying to see got to learn the best lighting you know what Sorry guys. Oh, there we go. Let me switch to this camera. So right there you can see it. There's some lines on the other side that you can see too, but those are just on the bottle that see the ounces. But anyways, there's the love and there's the heart etched in there. So pretty cool. So um, with the etching cream and the stencils and the um, silk screens, any of the designs um, you can put on here and use this. I might put it in a little bit longer, but actually in person it looks a lot, um, you can see it a lot darker. You can see it right there with the black actually, the black background. Oh, camera's giving me tricks. There you go. So um, you can make all sorts of custom things. So there's lettering. If you look on our website, there's actually lettering that you can buy and you can put different lettering so you can customize things. Um, I have some other cool ideas to do with the glass that I'm excited to try. Um, I was just had too many of them um, in my mind today that I wanted to try. But um, I figured you guys would enjoy this one. So there you have it. There's the love with the heart transfer on a slate board on glass. Um, you can put it on pretty much anything. So if you're curious about any surfaces maybe, um, go ahead and let me know in the comments or message me on my page or put um, a message on my page and let me know what surface you want to see it on and you know what we'll try it I'll go live and we'll try it on whatever surface you want um, just a reminder when you do the slate one thing you do need to do because it's not a chalk couture surface is you need to wax it um, so you just put a little min wax on it um, this is the wax that I use so you just Buff a little bit of it on, you buff it on, and then you buff it off. Wax on, wax off. And it helps it stick and everything and um, creates beautiful projects. So with this, that's what I actually did. I sanded it a tiny bit down, and then um, I waxed it, and then we chopped it. And it's got the wrap around on there with the hug, the same transfer that we used on our pillow. Um, and then I can use that like to 10 more times on different projects and everything. So thank you everybody for tuning in and watching the project. If there's anything you want to see, let me know. I appreciate you guys' supports, shares, likes. Um, tell your friends about it um, and your family. And um, you guys have a great rest of your Sunday night. And we will see you maybe tomorrow with another project. Have a great night. Thank you.